What's good everybody, it's Batman and we're going to be doing uh, another reaction banger video and it's going to be Naruto related. We need, we need to get some Naruto content in man, it's been a bit, you know, shit, fuck. Um, but either way, uh, we're going to be getting into this video. This video caught my attention because you know I'm obviously a big Naruto fan, you guys should have already blatantly know that. Um, and this guy is called Bam Collectibles, that's the content creator's name, so definitely check him out. Uh, his name will either be in the title of the video or the link in the description down below, you guys in the vibes. And uh, we're going to be checking this shit out. This is going to be a banger video. I already know. It's called Ultimate Naruto Statue Collection Room Tour Showcase. So I'm actually really hyped. I'm going to be real with you guys. If I was fucking rich as shit, this would be me all day, every day. I'd literally buy a whole fucking background or shelf, whatever, behind me or table. And just have tons of Naruto and Batman shit, bro. I, I'm not even lying. I'd have, like, every badass thing you could possibly think of, bro. I'd have, like, all the Batman suits behind me and shit. You know, like, the Hellbat, you name it, the whole nine. I have all these crazy... Like, bro, my room would be the most badass thing if I was fucking rich. But, unfortunately, I'm not, so it is what it is. But, um, but yeah, at the end of the day, oh, my God, envy this so fucking much. But I'm really hyped, and, and you can already see in the background, if you guys actually pay attention, you can see there's, like, that crazy Orochimaru statue with Sasuke and Orochimaru. That looks fucking incredible. You can see Jiraiya with the frog, um... And then you can see a, a Sasuke Susano statue with all the tail beasts. That looks crazy. Naruto with the Rising Shuriken in Sage Mode. So we're already seeing some fire-ass shit already. But let's get into it. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. And if you guys have any collectibles, anything you got really, let me know in the comments down below. And let me know. I'm actually curious, you know, or what's your favorite thing. But let's get it. Today's the day where I'm taking you on a trip right here with me to the downstairs to see all the changes and all the new Naruto statues added to the collection. I'm also going to be giving away a statue in this video, so stay tuned later for details, and I'll be unveiling my newest life-size statue at the end. So without delay, let's do this. All right, so initially coming downstairs, nothing has changed right here at the entrance. We still that man had it blurred, but it was so fucking painfully obvious that it was Sage Mo Naruto <laughs> just standing, you know what I mean? The glorious piece of wall art that tells the entire story of Naruto in one photo. So it goes through each arc from the... Oh, that's so badass. I love that, bro. <laughs> that's fucking peak. I'm all the way to a top. I don't really like art on my walls. So I'd rather have display cases with statues, but this one made the exception. Nah, yeah, that shit's badass, man. That That's so cool. I've never seen that before, bro. Directly to the right is four displays for my Naruto minifig. Now, this is only about one-third of what I own. And the reason this isn't updated is because I'm going to do a separate video updating my collection. This man got the goddamn Lego Naruto. <laughs> and how I'm going to display them. I also have a Pokemon collection, but we're skipping over that because that's a separate video. Over here is Long Hue Studios. Hashi hey, that's so cool, dude. Yo. A graded 10 for the Senju versus Uchiha. This is from the Bandai Naruto CCG. So that shit looks clean, bro. Oh my god, that looks beautiful, dude. It's addition to accent this piece. And here's my half scale Agumon just chilling in the corner. I'm a fan of Digimon as well. But here's where all the magic happens my light umbrella, some of my LED lights. Yeah, okay, okay. My, iPod, my stabilizer. But that's where all the magic is made on the channel. I would love to one day move into a more professional space to record like a studio, but we'll see what the future holds. These are my only two Digimon statues by GD Studio. Dude, Directly look at. God damn, that Nine Tails motherfucker. He's jacked as shit. <laughs> that man. That man's in a competition with Dwayne Johnson in this bitch, bro. God damn, that man's jacked. Literally that six-pack, bro. Uh, I don't know about all that, but... Hey, nah, that Naruto right... That's badass, dude. All the forms and shit. Come on. That's so... Oh, that goes hard, dude. Two statues from Crescent Studios on the left, rather newer, is Naruto and Kurama. Just got in a few weeks ago. In the center is an exclusive mini statue you only got if you ordered both. You get the body from the left statue and the head sculpt from the right and the life of Naruto over here. Such an incredible... Honestly, I'm not a fan of, like, the normal statues. I, I wouldn't really... I wouldn't get that if I'm being... I would only get things like that. You know what I mean? Where it has more unique or creative value that that's what i would probably really be collecting and getting i wouldn't get every single thing though my favorite card ever created sage mode naruto this is from again the bandai yeah, that motherfucker really does like sage mode art so I'm, I'm starting to up above is an mnt graded caillou card of the taka sasuke and right next to it is the whole team taka by uts studio such an incredible statue and to accent that piece is sume's killer b up here so the perfect pair hey. i've been waiting to have these two sides nah sides. that that taka that shit's fucking cool i like that and especially along with that 
That's fucking badass, dude. Yo, this man has some crazy... You wanna know the craziest thing, though, guys? I guarantee all this shit is expensive as fuck, bro. <laughs> I know damn well this shit's expensive. So very nice to have them there. In this next display case, we'll Yo, see that guard thing goes hard. That's so cool. Tomorrow looks... I'm sorry. Tomorrow looks trash. <laughs> Tomorrow looks trash, bro. <laughs> A sand sibling uh, theme. Now I had a custom one of a kind conqueror statue made for me. Unfortunately, I didn't wasn't able to fit it into the display just yet, but I still do have that. So we have Sume Gara and Gianke Tamari. Right below is gonna be KM Studios. This is a pretty old one right here, but this is Kaguya, of course. Okay. Kaguya looks cool. I, I fuck with it. It looks cool. It's not crazy, but I like it ever made out there and on the bottom is a blank display case this is really refreshing to have usually i'm at max capacity but i do have some room to grow this corner is quite random so i'm not gonna lie i fuck with that statue i i actually like that low key and that dog that is peak i want it <laughs> like fuck i want that shit <laughs> but you know what i mean bro i might honestly i might just say fuck it bro like things like this i could definitely buy and have like in the room just sitting around and shit you know what i mean but like i'm over here saying that and talking shit and watch i go on amazon and look for that and next you know it's like fucking 500 fucking dollars or some crazy bullshit you know table i normally put separate pieces if i'm unboxing or filming uh, so that's what i usually use that for but there's a life-size pakun above pakun life-size head of naruto i'll go for whatever that is later there's some uh, items i'm going to be giving away on the left of that and then of course i'm a huge fan of zabaza so yo i just caught that the zabaza sword that's clean dude other side is going to be kind of a random setup so on the bottom left we'll see timeline studio oh yeah my boy a hey, pain let's go that shit goes hard that's gonna be too even scary. even she looks yeah. fucking crazy so that series i was hoping they were gonna expand it but they actually just stopped with her and then to the right of that, that's sad be a but no that looks badass be for sale in the near future that's gay that they stopped with only her though what the fuck like, why <laughs> above it is a two statues from my favorite video game series final fantasy Team oh, okay, about that. Uh, we have to be something dear to paint i'm beginning to collect on the whoa right. and of course in the middle is the ten tails husk and every okay yo that shit looks clean the fucking husk bro with all the akatsuki members yo that shit looks crazy bro that that's actually really fucking cool because we actually don't really know really anything about lord jashin but yet they kind of do that that's actually cool um that's definitely fan made though because we've never seen anything with the, with what he even worships but yo this is crazy Member. that is badass to collect, but cool to see i wish assembled together like this if you take a step back before you enter the main room you will see the banners that you'd find in ichiraku ramen my name hey is i like that uh, earlier this year so i'm super thankful love how i like that now this is going to be when the party starts so when you enter this room i turn everything on with one singular remote if you want to know where i got that that's remote, fucking badass too how he has the lighting for it from you can check out the links in my description to the oh button. my god just look at that motherfucker got yeah that's see that's the crazy shit we're, we were seeing before in the beginning of the video the fucking naruto oh my when he's fighting sauce that looks crazy this this shit is clean dude this shit is so fucking badass there rochimaru's final form sanade jiraiya all the sage of arts and stuff they rochimaru and sasuke shit that looks badass crazy shit people's amazon store so i recommend all the products that i use around my display and collection room now my desk has shrunk a lot since my last video because I added more display cases. That is fucking clean. I want that. That is so badass, dude. Cases. This is the Shark Design Studio of Team 7. I love that. So classic looking. We have the QB Studios, the Headband Collection Series. In the middle, we have some mini things, Zabuza's Sword, uh, the other QB Studios of Sasuke. There's the picture of Team 7 you can see over there. Bro, somebody tell me where this man lives so I can rob all his shit and steal it. Yes, I'm saying on a live recording, bro. Let me know. I need to steal this man's shit. <laughs> He'll buy it again, right? You know? <laughs> Several mini statues I got of Naruto versus Sasuke. And then, of course, we have... I love it. My giant mini fig Susano for yeah, Even that picture oh, that frame. Very important literature. And just in case I get attacked... That's crazy. He actually has the fucking... <laughs> Uh, I wonder if like the pages are blank. Like I wonder if it actually has shit in it. That's crazy. 
attacked by another village. I have Minato's Kunai chilling there. To the right of that is going to be the Buster Sword from Final Fantasy VII with some materia. Love Final Fantasy VII as well as Final Fantasy X. Here's my older style display cases. We've seen them before already. Of the packs. Of the hey. Ones, some classic statues. Hey, hey that shit's clean. And Rock Lee. And hey, and my boy Kasabe. Of Kisame and Pain. By now, you've probably seen quite a few of these graded cards. I do send mine away to a kid. Hey, look at Pain. That goes by M&T Grading. And they've been so great to send my cards to. I think they grade very consistent. Badass. They're harsh, but that's what you want for a grading company. So definitely check them out if you're looking to grade. Yeah, Tachi looks cards. fucking cool, dude. Yo. <laughs> that looks crazy, bro. Cards in the future. This is UTS Itachi. I literally just got this in a few days ago. And so brand spanking new, a little oversaturated with the lighting. Sorry about that. At the top of the next display case is Revive Studio Jiraiya with my hey. Jiraiya. That's a very expensive card right there. Yo. This is one of the most mesmerizing LED statues. That shit looks badass, bro. Oh, that's crazy. In the collection with a giant Odama Rasengan. Over here is the standard Sage Mode Jiraiya in a 10. And right here below here, this is a very random statue. It's of another thing that I love of StarCraft, of Zeratul okay. versus a Hydralis. Don't worry about that, sorry. Hey, our uh, boy Minato. On the bottom with the Death Reaper. This is new to the collection. A M&T graded 10 for the Bandai for the Death Reaper seal. That's really cool. That shit looks clean, bro. Yo, you can't tell me this shit that he has is not incredible. Wow. Let's go for this statue. is not that great. The overall look of the statue is still quite incredible. On the top of this display case over here is SXG Studios. Hey, look at that. Hey, we got the original Team 7, baby. Ho, 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 ho. Of the early Team the Kakashi's fucking Shidori is badass, dude. I mean, this is a difficult set to complete, to be honest. I think Obito would be the most difficult uh, to obtain, but cool seeing them all. They connect together with the bases. It's actually four different statues. That's awesome. Then, uh, that is fucking badass. I love it. Love it, hands down, dude. There's Infinity Studios, my guy versus Madara. That's another amazing one. This next case is the last of my IKEA pack style. This pillar restricts the door so it can't open fully. Now on top is Sume Naruto. Uh, a lot of emotions going on. That statue super cool. On the bottom of that is one of my oldest. I actually pack. like this one the most. That one I, I fuck with that. Not the one on the right, but the left. I fuck with that one. In the collection STR. My guy using Night Guy, and to the right of that is the Surge Studio Quarter Skill Guy. That's definitely how I'd love to set up things in the future with like a big giant Jutsu to the left with the character more in focus on the right. Now, below that is like a holding tank area with some of my Pikachus cosplaying as Naruto characters, and a weird little thing I collect on the side. I can only get a close up shot from this at an angle, but I hope you do get to enjoy and soak in some of the details you can see here. Really, just wow. an incredible job by Surge Studio on that one. Yeah, it looks incredible, that dude. Case. This is, again, a random holding tank, so this is not the permanent. Setup Fucking pig two Naruto's, bro. <laughs> have a different setup where they're not in these large cases or just stagger them with some risers. Below that is a. Small he does love Pokemon though. Wall. This thing was like a whole Pokemon statues. To the right is the MH Studio. Hey, Pokemon, you know, hey that shit looks clean. I love it. That's badass. pounds. It's super crazy. And to the left of that is where I sleep. Well, honestly, I could live in that room, bro. The vibes would hit just right with Naruto all around me, man. I could live in that room, like, bro. I I tell that man, hey, how much you charging? <laughs> Too many of my statues, and my wife kicks me out. It'd be a roommate, bro. Kidding, not, not kidding, kidding. But over here, I'm still missing the first Hokage and the seventh Naruto. But one day, I hope to add them to this wall to complete it. But they're definitely difficult to track down. Now's a good time to say as well, if you're ever looking that for purple a lightning, statue, though. feel free to check out the links in my description. I usually recommend some safe places to buy there. On the right is the beginning of our Maju case series. They have acrylic hey. in front of them to seal them in. We're going to take those off real quick so we can see without any glare. Kicking it off, we have Kakashi. One of the greats with all his ninja. That's badass. I love how he has a sword, too. Dater up. Dogs, so perfect to go with that. And then to the right here, we'll see the C4 body for Dater from the Cartoon World Battle Damage Line. Here's all four that have been released so far. Uh, so I'm just looking forward to and hoping that they continue that line. I knew Kisame went for order uh, quite a few months that ago. That pain statue goes hard. Hopefully be done sometime early next year. All the way in the back is what I would call cold water Conan. And oh, Obito looks so fucking badass there, dude. Yo. Oh, my God. That shit looks fucking crazy. Seems close-ups and... Damn, Conan, you know, 
she, she about to release some titties, you know? What's happening there, man? <laughs> what talking about, but then to the right there is MH Studio, the Ambu line. Definitely okay, Ambu, yep. I don't see many people collect the entire series of, but I am a I love the Kakashi Ambu mask that's at the bottom of his feet. That's actually an awesome detail. Collector through and through. I love completing lines. I'm so thankful when studios dedicate themselves to doing that. On the next row above is the recently reviewed okay. Ventus Studio Sasuke and Itachi. Fuck statues. with it. Now, if I haven't said okay, I fuck right with that too. That's badass. I like it. I like it. They're two little, you know, little 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 rundowns. These are again called Maju cases, uh, made by a company called Maju Space. I would definitely recommend checking them out. They are probably the premier or top statues to own when it comes to displaying your statues. Okay. Here's the workshop model. Which Jimmy Mater looks cool. By. That's right. Oh wow! Stopping or making a loud noise next to it does turn it on. That's badass. Below that, you'll see a non-graded card. I don't have graded cards for each of the statues. There's a lot of work in progress ones I'm sending in to be graded. So can't wait to see the returns on those. Madara looks Here's cool. The hey, the nine. Madara, that the looks clean. Ten, so epic to have that. And then over on the left is going to be the Obito they did with all the tailed beasts below there. So okay. it's difficult to say. Like this is was burning. That, that shit looks clean too with the white mask. Yeah, uh huh. Either way, same studio that made these concepts is the Uchiha clan series. On the top row of this setup, which by the way is called the six series setup, and these are the 165 versions of those cases that you'll again find at Maji Space. We have the Sasuke from the last movie. He's made by Shen Wu Studio, which I'm still missing the Hinata from that line. I hope to get her someday. On the back, we have the CM2 Sasuke with the OR Caillou in a black label. This is one of my favorites from the Caillou series. So amazing to have such a high grade Caillou in a black to get her last move. This is that you'll again find at Maji Space. We have. Yo, that looks the fucking Sasuke cool, though. The Sasuke the shit. He's made by Shen Wu Studio, which I'm still missing. The That's badass. To get her someday. On the back, we have the CM2 Sasuke. Hell yeah, Omar, dude. Caillou in a black label. This is one of my favorites from the Caillou series. So amazing to have such a high grade on it. And then singular. Okay, we got Naruto. Naruto and Sasuke. Yep. Been in the collection for a long time. It won't be leaving such holy grills. Then we have a young Naruto yep. on top with the OR of Naruto. I have it in a tent, but I'd love to maybe get a black label for that one someday to accent. Yeah, that's so I fucking cool. Trade you very generously. Shen Wu Naruto and to the right. And Ninja the Swordsman, yeah. Studios, seven swordsman line. It may sound strange, but I've never been more excited for a line to hopefully complete itself than this one. I never thought I'd see statues from each of the seven swordsmen, but amazing to get pretty cool. Two initially, such great quality. And they're made by X Studios, and I believe MA Studio is going to help them moving forward. Moving on to the big boy case, this is a Maju case Max One. Beautiful. The STR Orochimaru of Beautiful. My collection for a while. No card here because it's currently being graded. So can't wait to have that return. Up in the top left is going to be Hex Collectibles of the Skeleton. Yep. Five I'm in Sasuke. Such an incredible piece. To the right there is Box Studios. Human Ms. Sasuke. Sasuke. So another cool one as well. He's riding on top of Alda and one of the holy grails in my collection, the Black Label for the Bandai Sasuke Susano STR. Been around for a while. Such a classic for me. Uh, to the right, though, is some new additions with the black labels from the Caillou series for the Sage Mo Jiraiya and KCM Naruto. This STR line, though, is very dear to me. I've had it for such a long time. Don't plan to ever let it go if I can help it. I like that statue of Naruto. Studios of Naruto. And then Hex Sage Mode's cool, too, though. Naruto. I fuck with it. I love the clones creating the giant Ross and Shuriken. There's a close up of that KCM Naruto, such an awesome one by Caillou. Over here on the right is STR Tsunade. And God Fox damn them boobs! Soccer, finally, a Sakura statue in the collection. Now, this one arrived with. I actually Grace like that Sakura statue, I'm not gonna lie. I actually like that shit. Some very severe breaks, and I was able to repair them with myself, unorthodox, with like, I think, wood filler and some white paint, but it worked out in the end. Looks good from a distance. And then we have Tsunade in a 10 and a black label for Sakura as well. Again, I do need to find uh, one of the OR black label for Naruto. Try to get that sometime in the future. Right here we have Chikara Itachi versus Kabuto, an epic battle scene a statue, which they don't make enough styles like this, but crazy right about to clash in that moment. And what I love That's is badass. the snake coiling and wrapping around the statue. How they brought that to life engineering wise blows my mind. And over here to the left, none other than my holy grails. Cotton yeah, Wood nah, that Naruto. statue right there is just beautiful, dude. That's incredible. And Sasuke in their final battle. 
There is no other Naruto statue out there that exists that pushed the limits as much as Cartoon World did with both of these statues. So you have the nine. All I'm saying, if Naruto did that many goddamn rising fucking uh, BG bomb shurikens, bro, at Sasuke, that motherfucker would have been dead. That man only did two. He did a BG bomb rising shuriken and a Sage Mode rising shuriken, and threw those two. You know, and Sasuke had the famous line of, oh, you're finally willing to kill me. And then, like, Naruto's like, nah, bro, I'm just doing this this way. Like, we stalemate, basically. But, like, if he did all that, oh, he, he would have been fucked. Different clones surrounding here with the Bijou bombs, according to which tailed beast it is. Just crazy, crazy how much the engineering went into that. Two of my all-time favorite Caillou cards, as well as the MR of Naruto. Okay, Sasuke six pat. In tens, and not a stranger to this channel at all. The oh, Sasuke with the Chibaku nah, Sasuke takes it, bro. That, mind you, like the Naruto show is great, but that that one takes it, bro. That's probably the most insane statue that out of everything we've seen so far, bro. Like, uh, the Akatsuki one with, like, the, the ghetto statue and all of them, that, that's pretty fucking close, too. Like, uh, but that, that statue is crazy. All the tailed beasts trapped inside. Technically, I guess this was called the Indra's Era statue, but, wow, these two are the holy... Gorgeous. Gorgeous. At the bottom of this whole case setup is going to be, again, the recently showcased Cloud Studios Hokage line. And if pretty you cool. See, there's some ugly cables I forgot to hide. Oops. But it's always tough to decide who to put at the bottom of a display case. These definitely don't deserve to be at the bottom, but something has to go down there. And thankfully, this line all did fit in the display case Rumble. together. But a perfect... Hey, here's an... Hey. Somebody actually mentioned this. Hey, one. our boy Minato. How they're all somewhat themed I like how he's doing the Ninetales. The Konoha Village. Forgot to show up as well. Here are the cards I have for some of these. Now, there are a few that are missing <coughs> cards. I definitely plan on... Filling those in later, just waiting on specific ones. To Sonate, that's in. cool. But there's Minato with the stone Death Reaper right behind him. It's kind of an artistic representation of the Death Reaper. Tsunade back there, punching it off against Madara's Susan. Badass. And then with what I think is one of the strongest standalone statues out there for Kakashi. Oh. Hokage. And on the very DMS right Kakashi, that's, Kakashi. Kakashi. that's Kakashi. so Kakashi. cool, Kakashi. dude. That Look at the eye. You Kakashi. see the eye there, bro? That's badass. Oh, that's so fun. That actually might be my favorite solo statue out of all of them. Not like the big, big main ones, but like out of the normal solo ones, that's probably my favorite one. That's crazy. All around him, so epic. Taking a step back, here is those cases. It's a max 140 on the left and a max 70 on the right. And to the right of this case, we'll see the 15th anniversary puzzle above me. Oh, it's so cool. That. I made did some uh, Mod Podge to glue it together and framed it. And then we have the 100k subscribers that I did of the majestic attire Kurama. With yeah, that's Sasuke awesome. A card. I finally found a card that could go along with them that was from mm. such a funky Naruto series. But there is that puzzle again. Such a cool combination with all the different characters in there. I love Naruto to just standing up front like that. Next up is a brand new line that I started collecting the quarter scale series. Now, I wasn't sure what to do with them at first, so I'm going to be sticking them okay. on top of these cases for now just until I really figure out how they're going to fit into the collection. But first off, we have Cartoon World Sasuke on the left, Serge Whoa. Kakashi in the back, and this is Serge Sasuke right here in front of him. I plan on doing a fun video in the future of Cartoon World versus Surge. Like uh, Kakashi had a black Rikery. But there is a bus that came with the Surge Naruto. Behind here is the MH Studio of Itachi. They didn't do many quarter skills, but the one they did was great. So here is, again, Surge's Naruto, which I think is actually fantastic. Uh, people argue which one's better, which one's worse, but we'll find out in the future. Hey, Pain that goes hard, dude. Pain well. looks so cool. The what he's standing the on? Studios, Pain, the first statue I've ever owned from them. A pretty decent overall. A little bit different compared to the Surge in Cartoon Worlds, but still good. And this is the Sage Mode Naruto from Cartoon World. And below is the life-size full... Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, I need that. How I was before the hobby. I need and, that. Uh, over on the right is how I am now. <laughs> Just mess, and those are definitely some random things in my collection. But over here on the right side is some Final Fantasy VII statues. I know, not Naruto, but Tifa, Cloud, and then there's a Final Fantasy VIII if we're on the back. Thank you again. Z Kage statue. So this is well, that's badass. separate statues. The base is one, and then the five different characters. All that's really fucking cool. Together to I fuck with this it. It's a huge diorama. Amazing to have statues of characters that are much considered to be niche in the series. So, you know, there's a ton of Madara, a ton of Itachi made out there, but not enough of the Raikage, Suche Kage. So cool to see. Perfect to pair this next to Hex collectibles. Madara looks Madara. badass, this dude. Best Madara on the market, in my opinion. And this is also one of the greatest cards. Seeing him, their Gara is going to be 
Studio Akatsuki Collection Series. Before that looks that, cool. This is the, actually the UTS Orochimaru with his eight snakes. An epic one that just came in as well. They replaced my cloud. That looks video. badass. I love them both, uh, but this is the one I ended up settling on. On the back here, we can see the BP Caillou card for Conan. Not many cards made for her, so a perfect one to get in a 10. That's this cool as well. Conan looks badass. Of her, so together. And I always label this a series, so I think well over three to That three looks three badass too. Bringing them all together. And I always label this as my all time favorite statue. Surge Studio Pain, one of my earliest, and this statue is just so ahead of its time, the way they brought it to life, and especially all the engineering that went into the statue. Hey, Nagato, that looks, Surge Imposter, that looks badass. Studios. This is the only statue that exists out there of Nagato with like a full-size sculpted chair, so I love that one, especially having it next to Pain over there, and this is the Surge version. I love the hit on one because that, that it's just so fucking cool, because this is obviously the fan-made part of it, but that looks badass. I wish that was actually real. Have an interpretation of what Lord Jashin would look like in Ew. the series that was never confirmed though in the anime or manga. And hey, I've never showcased this one before, but I do have a Zetsu statue. We have a above him with the ten tails husk. It's kind of a smaller, dumbed down version of that there. But cool to have a Zetsu finally. And then we have a young Obito. This yep. is from the moment where That's he when he snapped. With rage, he and Rindai Kakashi, but a smaller statue to accent things. And then skydiving Datara in the back. Huh? One that I haven't shown before is this Toby over here. Hey. Thrown from the ten tails. Hey, hey. that looks clean. Glow up. I don't have the batteries hooked up to it because I'm trying Honestly, to. Honestly, bro, I, I'd have to see all of them. I would literally have to watch this video several times or look all of it over, or look at all of it all over again. Or just look at all of them side by side to really determine my favorite. Like, that's fucking it's hard. Like like and I'm I'm referring to like the solo small standalone ones. Now if it's like the really big, like cool ones, that's a separate category in my opinion, but this is hard, bro. There's a lot of good shit, man. But you guys let me know what's been your favorite so far. ...to function for, but maybe in the future I'll showcase that and the giant sorcery with it. It's supposed to represent the 100 puppets, but there's like 15 of them up top. Crazy cool looking. And the alternative puppet form that you could use and put on there if you'd like to swap it out for him and the Haruko puppet. And still one of the strongest statues out there in the market for Itachi is the Surge, a version of him. This is just such a full scaled version that we don't normally see. It's usually dumbed down, but this one is so That's tall fucking wide. cool. Still one of the largest ones. That's badass. Collection, especially when you consider the scale. Up front, we have an alternative pose for Hidan. If you want to, you can put the cursed version of him on there. And then also we have Kakazu in the back with the Kakazu looks badass too. His. And on the right is still one of my favorite Kasami she that's ever been made. Yeah. So the water shark bomb. That's the best so Kasami, Kasami one he definitely has. I used to have LEDs that function with it. For some reason, they died. I haven't gotten them replaced yet, but I definitely will in the future. Stepping back, it's so satisfying to see because I've spent years building up this specific line of collections. So to see them all come together, very satisfying. Now let's talk about the giveaway and showcase what it is, what's under that black little cloth. Such an odd shape, but this is none other than Cartoon World 1 6 scale Sasuke. Okay, that's this cool. This is a worldwide giveaway. All you need to do is be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment below on what your favorite statue was that you saw in the collection today that in the statue in my collection the newly updated oh wow Sage that's a Naruto. I know I have one previous, big ass holy shit version just set up two days ago thank you so much to my buddy Jeff Damn. and my neighbor who helped me get this set. I didn't even know they could fucking have them that big shit I'd even get motherfuckers big like that but I'd have all of them man uh, but I'd get a big ass room and I have I'd have them motherfuckers big just like that and have them behind me Fuck yes. <laughs> I wish. That's literally what the room would be like, bro. I'd have big ass life size Naruto characters just sitting behind me, bro. I mean, it'd be badass. Like, and then right next to my chair, I'd have like fucking Pain and Itachi, bro, because why not? And then like Obito maybe right behind me. Like, yo, this is fucking cool. I didn't know shit like that was 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 real. Upgrade all around detail wise. Not that the last one was bad or any sorts, but this one's definitely got a lot more quality, the detail, all the texturing going throughout it showcase because it's really only that like scroll looks clean and extremely heavy and impossible to handle by myself the box case celebration i could only imagine how heavy that shit was but i think that's it what up space fam goes in okay i don't know what the fuck that is but either way guys that was incredible absolutely fucking incredible i hope you guys really enjoyed the video make sure to leave a, a like as well Check out his YouTube channel and give him all the love and support as well because clearly he has some incredible, incredible shit. 
and collectibles and he's clearly a Naruto fan as well which is a W itself um comment your thoughts down below like out of let, let's separate two categories what do you guys think like for the first category out of like the big main shit you know what I mean? like you guys know what i'm talking about like the ones where they're really big and there's a lot to it out of all those what was your favorite one and then out of like the smaller standalone ones what was your favorite one of that honestly for the small standalone i can't really pick off the top of my head i really can't i'll just i'll just go i'll just say one uh fucking i really can't really think I really can't, but I'll, I'll say Obito, the one where he's all fucked up. I'll just go with that one for now. Um, but as for the big ones, from my memory, the Sasuke one was my favorite. The one where he had all the tail beast and like his his uh his Susano where he's fusing all their power. That shit just looked insane, in fucking insane, dude. Um, but there was the other really good ones too, like the like the you know the Konoha Mountains with the Okages there and the the, the Akatsuki with the fucking Biju husk and all of them. That was insane. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's actually a really, really close one with the Sasuke one. But either way, you guys let me know what you think uh, in the comments down below. Like, there is so many just incredible things he showed. Um, and as always, subscribe for more content. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you like videos like this as well and reactions like this. And as always, guys, if you guys ever have any recommendations, just put it in the comments below. And eventually, I will get to it when I can. And I will react to that as well. But as always, guys, Batman out. Peace.